are. It's November 13th, Monday. Um, there's a lot of hoopla about Romney running for Orrin Hatch senator seat. Uh, for those that you aren't aware, I've been fighting Mitt Romney, Bain Capital, and Goldman Sachs for over a dozen years. Uh, there's medical articles out there, Romney slap racketeering, meet the man battling Romney for 12 years. It's actually 16 years now. The issue being is that, uh, oh, daggone, sorry about that. The, the issue being is that Romney is not running for senator because he wants a workload at his senior citizen's age. Romney believes with the mess that Trump done that he looks like such a clean candidate in comparison that he can run for POTUS again in 2020. And that means he has to handle me. And by handling me is they've offered me settlements through backdoor channels before and I've told them where to go. Uh, you don't turn down a bribe for a million dollars in 2001 at the height of your career and then take a settlement offer from Frank Nitti or one of his law firms uh, for Al Capone and don't make any mistake. That's exactly what this is, organized crime. They are corrupting our systems of justice. They're planting their own uh, affiliated personnel inside the system of justice. Colm Connolly was a U.S. attorney that was partners of uh, Mitt Romney and Goldman Sachs law firm of MNAT.com in Delaware that have done fraud in the Finger Hut, E-Toys, KB Toys, and related Ponzi scheme cases. Mark Dreyer, Tom Petters, um, Polaroid, um, uh, uh, the fleecing of Mattel for $4 billion. All this stuff mainstream media is bearing. I'm the source for, or part of the source for uh, Matt Taibbi's greed and debt story that was the cover of Rolling Stone in September 2012. Um, I'm part of the, you know, the source of the Wall Street Journal story. Uh, E-Toys, investors claim conflict at law firm. I've been in Reuters, you know, our story's been in the New York Times. Joe Nocera wrote an excellent argument and found the smoking gun email that proves that Goldman Sachs knew our E-Toys stock was going to be $80 a share, but E-Toys got less than 20 uh, in a pump and dump stock fraud spending scheme that the SEC refuses to touch. The DOJ refuses to touch. The FBI has actually threatened me, and the DOJ has threatened me with prosecutions for whistleblowing. I turned down a bribe and reported it, and you get threatened by the very people that are tax-paid public servants to protect us from enemies foreign and domestic. This stuff sucks, people, and we got to do something about it. And, you know, dealing with me, Mitt Romney's... You know, he physically won't do it. That's now how leaders avoid landmines. But somebody will get me out of the way because everybody wants that guy to be president other than the Baptist Bible South. Uh, unless I get unity and somebody to report on this or somebody in the system of justice with the guts to turn around and report a hundred crimes plus and obvious, visible by his own resume, Colm Connolly, uh, uh, Department of Justice resume at the Office of Legal Policy, unless somebody turns around and reports these crimes other than me, they're going to get away with it and they're going to do me in. Uh, Robert Albert, the E-Toy shareholder, is done in. Marty Lackner was the brother of Assistant U.S. Attorney James Lackner. And they were involved in a Petter Ponzi scheme that Assistant U.S. Attorney James Lactor was head of the criminal division and was ignoring. And the Minnesota DOJ can't say that they did no wrong. You can't self-police. Give me a break, right? Uh, this, is, this is the quintessential case that proves everything that Elizabeth Warren um, and Matt Taibbi and David Ciorda and Bernie Sanders and all those who are, have some semblance of good faith claim that Wall Street is doing crimes and not getting punished. And we can prove that it's by corruption in the Department of Justice that is documented. I don't need a single piece of discovery. All you need to do is look at the evidence. But unity is the key. Mandela, MLK, Gandhi, without others paying attention, Black Lives Matter, without others paying attention, nothing gets done, people. 
I'm going to start attacking this a different way in order to turn around and make something happen. Please pay attention. I'm going to three different courts. Uh, uh, a New York District Court, the Delaware Court, and the Washington, D.C. Court. I filed a, uh, a TRO request against Donald Trump when he nominated the conflicted Jay Clayton for the Securities and Exchange Commission. And unreasonably, inexplicably, intolerably, the clerk of court in Washington, D.C., this is how brazen and flagrant they are, refused to document the case. They didn't clock it in until May 9th. The judge dismissed the case May 5th. I filed it March 22nd. They had to file it after Jay Clayton was confirmed or it would have went viral. They had a chance of going viral. And then all these house of cards, a mile high, untenable house of corruption and fraud cards would have come tumbling down. Right? The learning company merger with Mattel, fraud. Cone Connolly is the missing link, the smoking gun proof. He was the assistant U.S. attorney in the office that should have presided over the Cook books. Unless you really are going to argue that Mattel's inside and outside auditors were that stupid to not notice that the thing was losing money. Right? And Cone Connolly became a partner of the m and law firm that handled the merger. Was involved. I've got SEC proof. And we have a problem about that now. They're redacting PACER, the public access to court electronic records. They're redacting all the proof. You can't take the, the public access records down, but they are under bullshit guys that it's too old. It's not too old if the case hasn't been handled, right? You know, and, and the same thing. Now Bain Capital is invested in Eggers, and Eggers is tied into the SEC Info database. Now they know where my paperwork trails came from that proved that Romney was lying about when he left Bain Capital in the 2012 election. Everybody, including Daily Cause, Adam B., said that I was full of bull. When I got vindicated by the Obama campaign printing the facts, everybody kicked me out. What is going on in this world that everybody cottons to the people that do wrong and bury their heads about the stories that prove that the wrong exists? Unity people, do you care about the fact that they're stealing your money and corrupting your system of justice? If you do, say something.